what's up everybody, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to the introduction to the Ansible series. If you've been following my beginner's DevOps series, you probably know already how to set up a server, create a new user, install PHP, let's encrypt and so on. You probably also noticed how much time and effort was necessary to create all of this. If we summarize all the actions I did in those videos and count the time spent installing libraries and packages, we can safely say that in order to set up a regular LAMP server with basic security options and SSL certificate, two to three hours were necessary. Now imagine if you have to do it every day for work, and imagine if you have to set up 10 servers all at once and they have to be ready in one hour because your boss needs them. That's where a solid automation system can save your life, and that's where Hansible comes in place. In this mini-series we're gonna explore how Hansible works and how we can quickly set it up to automate the most boring and repetitive tasks in IT. Specifically, we're gonna see how to automate the installation of standard software like PHP or Git, how to make the installation of WordPress or Laravel with their respective command line tools, all the way to something more complex like how to make the generation of an SSL certificate and remotely manage multiple servers at once with one single command. Command. To simulate real-life scenarios, I'm gonna be using skysilk.com to boot up a VPS and use it as a test environment. For the sake of properly understanding these tutorials, I strongly recommend you to do the same. Skysilk offers an incredibly snappy VPS for just $1 a month, and a reward system that will allow you to pay back the cost of the VPS for the first month. You can find a referral link in the description below this video to create your own Skysilk account. And no worries, Skysilk offers the ability to shut down your VPS if you're not using it, so you can turn it on only for the duration of these tutorials and avoid unwanted payments. Hope you guys are excited as I am about this series and all the juicy knowledge we're gonna absorb in these videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to not miss any of the weekly videos I'm gonna publish, and if you like this series consider hitting the like button to let me know. I'm gonna try to be thorough and detailed as possible while teaching you Ansible, but of course if you're interested in a specific topic or you want me to cover a particular automation aspect of Ansible, let me know by leaving a comment below and I'll be sure to make a video about it. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.